Hey there, welcome back. Now in this lecture, let us talk about permissions. Now whenever we are working on any type of project, there are chances that we need to restrict something. Suppose if you take an example of Amazon. So if I open Amazon right now, and if I try to access this order page, I need to log in first and this is a restriction or maybe if I open medium.com right now, they have some restriction that only logged in user can check out their blog post. So there are several restrictions that we want to add with our current project. So the first thing we need to understand is permission help us to add restriction maybe in terms of accessing the content, maybe in terms of adding some content that is uh, sending a post request or maybe we can create our own permission class that is custom permission and we can add it to our respective view. Now before diving deep to understand what type of permissions we have and their API reference, we need to talk about two type of permission. The first one is we can add directly in our main settings.py this and this will be applied to each and every class that we have. So that means that single permission will be applied to every class of my views. And then there is object level permission. That means I just need to add some restriction to this particular class. So this URL will be logged. That means I will be adding some restriction to this particular URL. We can do that. It's according to us. So these are the two levels either to add on all using settings.py or to add on a single object only. Now the next thing is about different type of permissions that we have. So just click on this API reference. If you need to visit this permission page, all you have to do is go to API guide, click on permissions and then click on API reference. Now these are different type of permissions that we can access. The first one is allow any. So suppose let me take an example to access any content. So at this point of time, anyone is allowed to access this content. So this is directly allow any. Now if I talk about is authenticated, what I mean by this, that the user should be a logged in user to access this content. If we add this permission, that means we are restricting only logged in user can access this. Then we have is admin user. So we can add this restriction. That means we can add this permission. Then only admin will be able to access this. Then we have is authenticated or read only. That means the authenticated user can edit. Otherwise everyone can read. Then we have few others. And the important one is this custom permission. So we are going to create our own custom permission like the review can be edited by the user who posted it. So if X user posted a review, only that particular user can edit it. So these are a few common types you will understand more once we start practical. So just scroll up a bit. Uh, let me first try to add the global permission class, which is this. Let me copy this one and let me jump here. Go to my settings.py. All you have to do is uh, jump inside your watchmate folder and then settings.py and just scroll down a bit to the last. Here I'm going to add this rest underscore framework. Now at currently I'm using a permission which is is authenticated. That means I cannot access anything. I need to be a logged in user. So if I try to refresh here, you can see I got an error that authentication credentials were not provided. And if I try to log in, let me log in as Shubham. Once I'm logged in, let me try to refresh this one. You can see I'm able to access. Maybe let me try to log out again. Try to refresh this one. You can see I'm not able to access. So that means this particular link can only be accessed by someone who is logged in. If you try to access any other link, maybe we have these URLs. Let me try to access any individual element. So here, if I try to access one, you can see authentication credentials were not provided. And here, if I try to log in as John this time, definitely I need to use this link. You can see I'm able to access everything right now. 
So this is pretty common. We can add a setting and then this will be provided to each and every view class. Now I think it's not pretty useful because I don't want same condition to be applied on each and every class. I need different conditions. Maybe for some condition I need to restrict only to admin or maybe for some condition I need to restrict only to logged in user and for some conditions any user can access. So we need to work according to that and for that we have this object level permission. Let me comment this one right now since we are not going to utilize this. One quick side note before commenting, maybe in future you want to add more classes, more uh, settings like this. So instead of creating this type of object again and again, don't do that. Just add a comma here and then add your new permission whichever you want. Maybe while working with filter, maybe while working with pagination or any other topic in future, we might add something like this again. So this will be maybe something like pagination. So make sure if you are adding new setting, don't create a new rest framework variable. Otherwise you are going to overwrite all the content. So let me comment this for now. Yeah. So let me jump back here. Try to refresh this one. Okay. Let me log out. Refresh. I'm able to access this again. Everything is working normal. Yeah, this looks fine. Now, if you want to add any other type of permission, let's say uh, allow any or maybe is admin use, you can just copy this one. And if you want to add global setting, you can just add here and then uncomment this one. I hope you got the idea. So I'm not going to test this. I'm going to test the other one that is object level permissions. Now to add object level permission, all you have to do is just define your permission class. That is you have to use permission underscore classes and then define your permission setting. Now, if you're using this class based view, this is the right way. If you're using function based view, then you have to utilize this at the rate permission class and then define it. Remember to import everything that is required. So I hope you got the idea. If you are using function based view, if you are using class based view, then just directly copy this one. And here for review list, let me add it here. So this is my permission class and only authentication user can access the review list. The, I also need to import them. So the first thing I need to do is just copy it. This is going to be from risk framework. So I'm going to import here. This looks fine. So I haven't added restriction to anywhere else. I have added restriction only authenticated user can access. Uh, let me log in first to my admin section. And let me see. Okay. I have review for item number one, right? So here, let me try to access review just jump here. Check out the URL stream one slash review. Now here I am able to access this review, but this is a specific review, I guess. No, this is a review list. So here I'm able to access the complete review list for item one. That is my movie one. So if I log out and refresh, you can see I got an error that authentication credentials were not provided. But if I try to access any individual review, let me pass review ID as one. Okay, I need to see if there is any review. And we have a review ID of three. Okay, let me log out. And here if I refresh, go to review ID three. I'm able to access the individual element, but I'm not able to access the complete list. Why? Because here I have added restriction, this permission class on review list only. And I haven't added anything here for review detail, but suppose I also add this for my review detail. That means I'm not able to access this page. Also, let me refresh. You can see I got an error. So that's how a uh, object level permission works. 
and you can select different type of permission according to your own requirement. This was just a base idea and we usually use this type of permission on e-commerce to hide prices, to hide reviews or maybe for different surveys, contact form and lot of other things. But this was just basic, this is authenticated one but there are few others is admin use only so maybe we are developing something that is specifically for admin so if I copy this one right now this one is better is authenticated or read only so if I copy this one and if I paste it here that means authenticated user can edit but others can read only so if I just jump here and if I refresh my list I got an error because I haven't imported it so I need to import it save jump back refresh you can see now I'm able to access but there is no other option to edit so for that I need to log in let me try to log in as John okay I only have get request let me try to do that with the other one uh, instead of list I need to do something similar for individual item because here we can retrieve update as well as destroy. So if I jump here and if I try to access this three, I have option to do every single thing. But if I log out, refresh, I only have option to read only. So this is the difference with is authenticated or read only. There are few others. If I talk about is admin, I guess you already have information. And then we have these Django model permission regarding anonymous user and few other. So these are okay. But the thing that we are interested in is this custom permission. Now the aim of this part is to improve our review system. At this point of time, anyone can access any type of review. So for now, let me, uh, yeah, this class is fine for now. Now here, my main motive is I need to add option for this for this particular class anyone who is currently authenticated can retrieve update and destroy so I need to add another custom permission in which if uh, Shubham has created this review only he has the option to edit or update this or delete this or if John has created so he or she should be have option to do that so in the next lecture let us also talk about our custom permission how to create one and how to add this new feature. I hope this lecture was helpful. You got the basic idea about this permission class, how to add global permission that is through settings.py and how to add object level permission. In the next lecture, let us discuss about this in depth. Thank you for following and I see you guys in the next one.